Welcome to the Medical Staff Voice Live. I'm Dr. Stan Froeswijk, Chief Medical Officer at Community Memorial Health System. And I'm joined today by Dr. Ashley Lamb, orthopedic surgeon. Welcome, Dr. Lamb. Hi, thank you for having me. You're sure welcome. This is a great opportunity for our medical community and our medical staff to learn more about you and your practice. In order to do so, we have a few questions we're going to ask that will help enlighten us as to the nature of your specialty and give us better insight into exactly what it is that you do. So to start, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you from? Where did you train? What brought you to Ventura? Great. Well, I'm originally a Southern California native. I uh, was born at uh, Verdugo Hills Hospital down in LA. Spent the first uh, couple years in California until my dad's job moved us to Texas. So I kind of consider myself a half Californian, half Texan, kind of a unique breed. Uh, I did my undergraduate training at a small liberal arts college called Centenary College of Louisiana in Shreveport. Uh, after finishing my undergraduate training, I knew I liked the musculoskeletal system biomechanics. Actually started a chiropractic training program. Uh, spent a few uh, years, brief years in a chiropractic program before really wanting more out of my practice. That's kind of how I was led into the osteopathic field and uh, applied to some osteopathic schools and ended up at Rocky Vista University, which is in Denver, uh, Colorado. Loved my time out in Colorado, took advantage of the uh, mountains and outdoor sports there. Um, spent an extra year actually during my medical school training where I became an anatomy fellow, where I taught in the gross anatomy lab, did some prosections, um, and really kind of honed in my my dissecting surgical skills and just kind of love for anatomy. It was really during my uh, third and fourth year clinical rotations where I continued my love for the musculoskeletal system and really fell in love with orthopedic surgery. Uh, I came out to Ventura and spent a month as a rotating student, as a fourth year medical student, uh, and haven't really looked back since. I actually uh, got to spend a week uh, with Dr. Menninger when he was still practicing in Ojai and got some experience uh, with his small town uh, orthopedic practice and really kind of fell in love with, with that model. Um, I applied and was accepted into the orthopedic uh, residency here, spent five years. Uh, and then uh, went off to LA County USC for an orthopedic trauma fellowship where I specialized in uh, you know, acute injuries, uh, fracture fixation, uh, malunion and non-union correction. Um, and now I am back in the area um, practicing orthopedic surgery. It's, it's great to be back. How fortunate we are to have you with your broad and deep knowledge of our uh, health system our residency training program, and now coming back to help train our residents. That's wonderful, that's exciting. Yeah, thank you, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, thank you. Well, you know, uh, you uh, alluded to it, but you also have some subspecialty interests and focus. Can you give us a little bit of understanding about that subspecialty focus you have? Sure, so in addition to general orthopedics, um, I really like fixing fractures. So kind of helping people on their, sometimes their worst day when they least expect it, uh, kind of helping put them back together. Not only uh, in the acute setting uh, with fractures, but also if they've had fractures that don't go on to healing, which we call non-union, or they heal in a bad position, which we call malunions, and correcting those and, and fixing those prob problems for people, which can be quite challenging. I also enjoy doing uh, total hips and total knee replacements, which can be uh, after post-traumatic injuries as well, or just due to uh, kind of wear and tear osteoarthritis. That's really fortunate too, because a lot of people do not understand that um, repairing a poor union is actually a, a challenging, and some orthopedists prefer not to deal with that. So it's fortunate we have you here to work with that. Yeah, I do enjoy that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. Uh, can you tell me, um, where's your practice located currently? Yeah, I'm currently a part of the Midtown Medical Group with an office located here in Ventura. Uh, 
in the medical office building. And then I also have a clinic up in Ojai uh, through the Midtown Medical Group as well, where I am seeing patients and integrating into that community as well. How fortunate for the Ojai community that they, we could go from Dr. Menninger and now you. That is really great. Like I said, big honor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you must have some interests and hobbies outside of broken bones. Can you tell me what those might be? Absolutely. So I love the outdoors. Any excuse I can have to uh, get outside and play, I'm, I'm going for it. So uh, being up in the Ojai area, enjoying the hiking trails that are available, try to get up to the ski hills when possible and, and get on the snow, uh, and really just spending time in my backyard, enjoying nature, enjoying the scenery. It's uh, what I love to do. That's great, and our area is ideal for that. It gives us a great deal of opportunity. Can you also mention to me, and I didn't uh, ask about this initially, do, what ages do you treat? Do you have certain limits or do you take on all ages? Can you give me a sense of that? Yeah, from birth till death. Wow, so that's wonderful because not everybody wants to treat pediatrics or adult separately. Yeah, so, you know, there's definitely some, some specialized pediatric orthopedics that I, I don't take care of, but especially injuries in the pediatric population, I'm happy to see and treat. Whoa, very fortunate. Thank you. That's great to know. Well, now that we have kind of this overall, both your professional and your personal, we're going to go into the lightest part of this, and that is the this or that questions. Great. And this is just a stream of consciousness. There is no right or wrong answer. Early bird or night owl? Early bird. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for an orthopedic surgeon. Yes. French fries or onion rings? Ooh, tough one, but French fries. Good. Early fries to be specific. <laughs> oh, Regular or spicy? Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Amusement park or a day at the beach? I think I can guess. Day at the beach for me. <laughs> Podcast or reading a book? Podcast. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Second that. Passenger or driver? Ooh. You know, I enjoy both, Good but uh, I do enjoy driving, and, and I have a Jeep and enjoy taking those out onto some four-wheel drive roads. Oh, so That's great. I'll say driving. Good. <laughs> Laundry or dirty dishes? Dirty dishes is my duty. Oh. <laughs> uh, business casual or scrubs? Scrubs, usually. <laughs> I do prefer the scrubs. <laughs> Spoken as a true surgeon. Okay, if you had a choice between two superpowers, being invisible or flying, which would you choose? I think flying. I think this could take me <laughs> over the mountaintops, enjoy the scenery with the birds, so I, I pick flying. So, so this is probably my favorite question, uh, not the last, but favorite one. What is the best advice you would give your high school self with what you know now? Continue to believe in yourself and keep persevering. Wow, I love that. Finally, what, what is the most interesting thing about you that we would not necessarily learn from your resume alone? Ooh, I think I have a good knack for good music, and musician myself love to play guitar, um, and so I just uh, I think that's kind of my my hidden talent is my love for music. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about Dr. Lamb. For more information on all the services and specialties offered at Community Memorial Health System, visit cmhshealth.org, and be sure to like and subscribe for more from your community health system. Thank you, Dr. Lamb. Thank you so much. You're welcome.